for those of you in a hurry, material properties, add a new material slot, to that, add a new material, jump into edit mode, face select, select a face, select the new material, assign, and we are done. For those of you not in a hurry, please stick around and I'll explain this properly. Let's select our object. Over here in the Properties panel, let's come down to the Material Properties tab, Base Color, click on the color chip just here, and set this to red. Now if I've made this object red, why don't we see it? Well, we need to pay close attention to these four buttons just up here. These are the viewport shading modes. Either of the first two modes will not show the color of an object. Either of the last two modes will. So this last mode just here is the rendered mode, and I'm just going to leave it in this mode for the rest of this video. So we've successfully made our object red in color. I'm now thinking I would like to make this face blue. So let's more closely examine what's going on over here. This here is a material slot, and it contains this material just here. I'm actually just going to double click on this name and rename it red. So this is a single material slot which contains a material, in this case, the red material. We have a plus and a minus sign just over here. If I click on the plus sign, it will add a new material slot. With that new slot selected, if I click on new, it will create a new material and place it into the new material slot just here. So like before, let's double click on this. I'll rename this blue. No big surprises, let's change the color to blue. Now our object is still red in color, but it currently has two materials assigned to it one material in each of the two material slots. Let's now come over here and jump into edit mode. We have three buttons just up here. The first is vertex select, the second edge select, and the third is face select. So let's choose that. And if I come down here and click within this face, I have now successfully selected just that face. Coming over here and clicking on our blue material, still nothing has changed over here, but with this new material selected, if I now click on the assign button and then click away, check it out. We have successfully applied two different materials to different faces on our object. Let's jump back into object mode, and with our object selected, I'm just going to press X and then delete. So let's run through this again, but with a different object. So add mesh, let's choose icosphere. I'll just zoom in a little here. Now, although our icosphere is selected, if we look over here, we can see that this panel is currently empty. Some shapes by default, when you add them, won't have this area populated. No problems. Let's just click on New. So this will now work the same as before. I'm going to change the base color to green. We immediately see that change because one of the last two modes is selected just up here. And I'm going to double click on the name just here. Change that to green like so. So let's change the color of some of these faces just here. So again, like before, Let's come over to the plus sign just here, click on it. We've now created a new material slot. Now you may recall last time I came down here and clicked on new to create a new material for that slot. But I'd like to draw your attention to this little drop down just here. So if I click on this, check it out. These are all the materials that we have previously created in this document. So I'm just going to click on red just here 
And we have now populated our second material slot with the red material that we created earlier. So like before, our object is selected. Let's jump into edit mode, making sure we are in face select mode. I'm going to click on this face just here, holding down the shift key. I'll click on a couple of other faces like so. Let's now click on the red material just here and then the assign button, clicking away. And actually let's jump back into object mode and check it out. Again, we have successfully applied multiple materials to different faces of our object here in Blender. I hope that helps. Catch you later.